Hey, yo, Shire, you remember Tommy from the show, Martin? Yes. Man, the thing about Tommy is he never had a job. I'll put in a good word for you at my job, man. You ain't got no job, man! But you know, he always had nice things. And anytime anyone would question him about his job and how he got this cool new jacket or these fly clothes, he say, there's always a way to get what you can't afford. <laughs> always a way, dog! <laughs> <laughs> We talk at credit scores. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Marcus Murray and I'm here with my lovely wife, Shira Murray, and we're talking about credit scores. So growing up, I remember always hearing about the importance of having credit and having good credit. I remember my grandmother telling me when I was a little girl that if you have good credit, you can get anything that you want. And from the looks of things, that was true. I mean, my grandmother, she owned her own home and car and she always had nice things. You know, but now that I'm older and I am learning how to become a better steward of my resources, I just wanna add a cautionary phrase to what grandmother taught me. So if you have good credit, you can get anything that you want. But remember, credit is a tool, not a gift. So what is a credit score? A credit score is a number that represents a consumer's credit worthiness. A consumer is someone who is purchasing or acquiring goods. There are consumers and producers in this world, but we can have that conversation later. Credit scores considers your credit history. It predicts risk and your credit score can range from 300 to 850. A higher number equals a higher score and a higher score in theory suggests that the consumer will be able to repay the debt and that's all considering past history. So we understand that there are times in life when having good credit really pays off. If you've seen our Stranded in Las Vegas video, then you know that we were put in a tight spot because we didn't have access to a credit card. So if you're interested in learning more about how to boost your credit score, then we have some tips for you. All right, so this is for all my note takers and visual learners out there. Number one, if you're looking to boost your credit score, start by obtaining a free copy of your credit report to see where you stand. Be sure to dispute any discrepancies or errors with the credit bureau. You're entitled to one free copy of your credit report every 12 months from each of the three nationwide credit report companies, Equifax, Experion, and TransUnion. You can order your report online from annualcreditreport.com. Number two, bring delinquent debts up to date. If you have any past due bills, get them caught up as soon as possible to prevent the account from being sent to collections, which can negatively affect your score. Number three, pay your bills on time every month. If you have a tendency to forget when things are due, set up reminders in your phone, keep a calendar, or sign up for automatic bill pay. Number four, keep balances low on revolving credit and use a small fraction of what's actually available to you. We recommend keeping a credit utilization rate at about 25 to 35%. For example, if you have a $500 credit limit, you don't want to exceed a balance of 175. Doing this can positively impact your score over time. Number five, reducing the amount of debt you owe can actually boost your credit score. After paying off Shira's $30,000 student loan debt, her credit score received a healthy boost. Lastly, though many will promise quick fixes, increasing your credit score takes time. And if you choose to utilize it, remember to manage it wisely. It's a tool, not a gift. Yeah, so what we wanna do is we wanna hear from you. We wanna know what things you have done, what strategies you have implemented to boost your credit score. And you know what? Why don't you share some success stories with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and stay connected with Black Mary Debt Free. We got a lot more coming for you and we appreciate you following us. For Marcus Murray, this is my lovely wife. Shira Murray. And we are Black. Married and, and debt free. free.